how do we solve and map out global pollution and maritime hazards? And maybe you can introduce also the passion you have for that problem. Yes, it's a it's it's a very very good point, and it's it is a huge problem, right? People currently everyone is focusing on energy transition, decarbonization, etc. I think there there are also, I mean, it's an important scheme, but but I'm unable to tackle it on my own. So it, it needs to be well organized and structured, as we said earlier. On the maritime pollution, um, um, for me, this is a very important topic, um, and it's a topic that lacks transparency. And and that's also I'm I'm engaged as an ambassador at, at ICs, which is a, an an organization which has developed a, an app. It's a nonprofit organization that has developed an app. Um, that uh, kind of tracks maritime pollution. Um, you can just take a photo, it gets geotagged um, and it's visible. And you can basically, you know, bring transparency on the coastline, but also on, on deep sea uh, waters. Um, and you can actually organize cleanups. And, and what we try to achieve is the industry to help the industry in a way right uh, because you need people who are engaged you need the crew to take pictures um you need to organize cleanups later on so this is we're, we're still at a i would say early stage yet the app is functioning uh, and i think it's it's so important to bring transparency into this um, because that is a starting point to address it um and it's probably easier to be addressed than uh, than the decarbonization of uh, of this globe um, because it just needs efforts people can just you know once you're hands-on you can do it um, and and this is why i personally i'm personally engaged uh, quite a bit with that organization which which was you know founded by by graham somel arnold he, he he's a he's a fantastic guy um, and he pushes this forward and and i'm very excited about it uh, but there's still work to be done there as well obviously I wish I knew more about the results from, you know, the ocean cleanups, et cetera, which are highly, you know, relevant or, or visible in the news media. But what are you seeing as the biggest hurdles? Because identifying shouldn't be the, I know it's a hurdle, right? But it shouldn't be the hardest problem to solve. It should probably be the technology that makes this efficient process. I'm just guessing, of course, but. Yeah, but it, but it's it's really, I mean, people need to engage and you need to, I mean, people need to use this app I mean, as an example, I mean, maybe there, there are other apps as well, but the ICs, app, if, if people use it as they use uh, Instagram or TikTok, you know, if it has to be part of your day-to-day -day life. And, and, and once that, that is adopted and, and people accept it, and, you know, it's maybe not as joyful to take a picture of a, a fisher net or of plastic waste uh, on the beach than, you know, doing your, your TikTok dance, but it's, 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 it's very important. And I think we need to make it part of the, you know the way people use their mobile um and and then i think with the transparency i think to to organize the cleanups then is is not the biggest challenge um i think to have this transparency to have more data points to have a fairly good view on 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 this world and there are obviously countries where it's probably a bit more cumbersome where you don't get the support where people don't want to have pictures of their port being you know, completely full of waste. It's also a lot of political tension that needs to be addressed. So um, that is also something to overcome. Um, so if everyone was for transparency, if everyone was engaged, it would be easy. Um, but this is the, the biggest hurdle in my book. It's, it's a very good point because maybe it, it was, it's a better way of saying this. This is actually like a cultural thing as well. People need to care, right? Because people, if people don't have strong incentives, usually they, they don't bother, right? Yes, absolutely. That's that's actually better phrased than what I said. Uh, but exactly, um, that that hits the nail on the on the head.